to Wilton, Lewis, Michael. You don't understand? This is the casting for Dr. Lewis for the new Halloweens. Foods that start with the letter Q. I don't give a fuck about quiche. <laughs> Guys, so, welcome we, to the Thunderdome, bitch. <laughs> we just found out. That the new Halloween movie, uh, written and uh, by David McBride and David Gordon Green, I'm probably saying his name wrong, and directed by David Gordon Green, I'm probably saying his name wrong. Danny McBride. The new Halloween will take place yes. after Halloween 2. And by the way, I want to address something really quick, okay? I saw these in the comments. When we were doing the other script, we were talking about the... <laughs> I mean, when we talked about, like, where it was going to take place, we said the 80s, okay? So I'm just going to address this really quick. We know, Mike and I both know, that Halloween 1 and 2 take place in the same timeline. They take place the night after Halloween 1, <clears throat> which is technically the 70s, but Halloween 2 was not shot until, like, 1980. So fucking get off of it. Jesus Christ. That's Jason Bourne. It's going to be all right. <laughs> well, it pissed me off. I, like, I know my timelines, bitch. So, guys, the, so. the new movie's going to pick up where Halloween 2 left off. That begs the question. Is Loomis going to be in this movie? Yes. Are they going to kill him off? No. Because in the original Halloween timeline, right, Loomis survived the explosion in the hospital at the end of Halloween 2, and so mm -hmm. did Michael. Uh, we don't know for a fact that Loomis is going to be in this movie. Maybe John Carpenter will pick it up and just have Loomis be dead, that he died in that fire too, which would make sense. But, for fuck's sake, let's have a good time and dance with cha-cha music on. Let's decide. Let's dance with the devil there, right now. There is a chance that Loomis will be in this movie. And He's going to be in it, Mike. Not chances. And so we're going to go through our show called Dreamcasting, where we pick and choose who we want to play Loomis in the next movie. We so, actually haven't done this in a while, so we this have is going to be fun. Starting off um, with the most obvious choice, I want to say, I've gone through these and I've made me a whole nice little pretty list. The obvious choice I'm gonna, is... I'm going to run by you. Oh, okay. I'm going to run by you. We're going to talk about them. Cool. It's, it's going to be all right. Okay, no one has to take their clothes off. Why? Yeah. Why? It's going to be okay. <laughs> so, but let's start with the most obvious choice. In Halloween Returns, the script, at the end of the script, they have Loomis coming back. Spoiler alert. At the end of that script, Loomis comes back as Gary Oldman. So let's start with Gary okay, Oldman. Gary Oldman. Do you like it? Um, I'm okay with it. I'm not against it. I think Gary Oldman would be a phenomenal choice to be Dr. Loomis, but when they're saying in the script, when we, the script that we reviewed, 40-ish uh, Gary Oldman, I don't think that Gary Oldman could pull off the 40-ish Gary Oldman. I think he could. He's in his 40s. I don't know, man. He's not that far. I mean, I don't, like, the way that he played Commissioner Gordon, and I, I could definitely see him bring levity and bring, like, this hard-ass edge to Dr. Loomis. Would you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I would take that. I'd be okay with that. And this list that I'm going to go through, guys, some of these guys are English. I feel like a non-English actor could pull off Loomis still. He's not hardcore. I'm not English. <laughs> you know, he's, yeah, yeah, see? And he's not hardcore. Jay's another one on the list. Obviously, we give a thumbs up to that. Thanks, um, bro. You're welcome. So nice of I you. I think you do a, a moderate job. Um, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> fuck your bitch and the clique you claim! <laughs> West side in the house! <laughs> so let's go through the list. Michael Fossbender. Think about it. Man. Yes. I, think about it. I actually, I don't need to think about it. Okay. I'm already sold. Don't think about I'm it. I'm already sold. He'll never do it probably. You know what? I would be the greatest corporate, I would be the great, if Mike was pitching this and I was the corporate guy, I'd, I'd be your greatest ally. I'd be like, I'm done! I want him. The question with Vossbender would be like, would he do the role or not? And automatically your thoughts are going to be, no, he's not going to be in a Halloween movie. But, dude, he does these movies. Like, Michael Vossbender's in directed dvd movies. Yeah. For some weird fucking reason, he's in, like, directed dvd westerns. So he'll do whatever. And he would be really good. He's he's around the right age group. He's English. He can fucking act the panties off a unicorn. I think he'd be killer. You can act the panties off a unicorn. You're in business. Absolutely. But, like, Michael Vossbender, the only problem I would have with him is that he's got so many projects going on. Mm -hmm. And he is like Magneto. Like, he's got a huge thing going on right now. I don't know if he would actually... And I, I hate to say this about any Halloween movie, but lower himself to a point to do a horror reboot. Not just that, but the fact is it's a Blumhouse production. And Blumhouse is famous for... He makes good horror movies. Get Out, that just came out. I want to see... But, honestly, I mean, we're going we're gonna to go through these, these name brand actors. We're going to go through, right. like, the, the fucking Chevys and the, the Toyotas of the world. But I, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, you know... A Saturn car coming out. Like, you know, an unknown actor. Like, somebody that we've never seen before doing a phenomenal job. But right. Michael Fassbender, <clears throat> I'd be on board with that. The thing is, is that I don't <clears throat> think that they, they, they ain't got that money. I don't think they can pay for an actor like that. Because Blumhouse likes to do things on the cheap. Then again, this is Halloween. Who knows? Yeah. So next up, um, let me throw this one at you. Okay. Cleopatra coming at you. Cleopatra's Brandy, say my name. Brandy's going to be Jason Isaacs. We just saw him in A Cure for Wellness. 
He's in this, that new show, The OA, on Netflix. He's the dude who looks just like, if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'll show a picture of him here. Looks just wow. like, he looks just <laughs> like Timothy Dalton. Like, he could have been James Bond. Uh, Jay, day of the week. I love Jason Isaacs. Jason Isaacs is, to me, a very underrated actor. Your phone needs to shut the fuck up. Eat me, dick face! Uh, but Jason Isaacs is an underrated actor to me. But as far as Jason Isaacs doing Those, a role like this, I, I don't know, man. Like the, I'm not against it, but I'm just... Those piercing eyes. He does have piercing Jamie! Tell me where he is, Jamie! Ah! Stop yelling at children, Dr. Loomis! Lolly, get, get your, your ass away from that! <laughs> that was so good that we both said that. Uh, but no, he, uh... Oh, dude, I think I busted a gasket. I know, it hurts a lot when you have to keep yelling. Oh. God damn you, Michael! Uh, he just... If he were to do it, I would feel like it was a made-to-TV movie. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> It's not like a bad choice. I just don't really know if I could get thumbs up, it. thumbs down. I'm going down. Mom. Thumbs up, you son of a bitch. I'm going down on that you one. wouldn't be happy if you saw that. I mean, can I do this? No. We're going fucking off the rails right now. Okay. This is getting crazy. Mel Gibson. I mean, he can act in any. Flush off, fuck ever. your bitch, and the click you claim. <laughs> uh, all right, yes, okay, but we are Mel Gibson fanboys, so Mel immediately Gibson we're gonna immediately say yes, like. Yes, 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 all the way through it. No, 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 no. no. Uh, but Mel Gibson, I, I don't see Mel Gibson wanting to act like that anymore. Like, I don't see him wanting to do a role like that. I think him, he wants to be the guy behind the camera. He's so, the perfect age. He's got the yeah, broken down like, face. He's not English, and that's the only reason. Six, or, six or seven years ago, Mel Gibson probably would have been all over that. But I don't think he wants to do it now. Like, I don't think, I don't even think that he could but you, body the character. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm giving it a hard thumb up. I mean, I'm there with a thumbs up because up. I, I love Mel Gibson, but... Yeah. Seven up. I would love it. I would love it! Heads up, seven up. The first person puts the finger in your butt. Another American. Brian Cranston. I don't... I, I don't know, man. He's, he's almost too edgy. He's almost too hard to really bring that for Loomis. I don't know. I, I don't see the soft moments that Loomis does have that he can bring uh, on. Brian Kranz can do anything. He can do anything. He's but fucking I, Zordon. I don't know, man. He is Zordon. <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down. Teenagers with attitude. Uh, shoot, dude. By the way, that was always, like, questionable. I never bring thought... Me, bring I me don't. five teenagers with attitude. It's like, what yeah, are you going to do with them, Zordon? He, didn't say, he was like, bring me yeah. five teenagers. I don't, uh, anyway, what's your question? Uh, Brian Kranz intentions with my daughters. <laughs> I'm going to go thumbs up, but a reserved thumbs up. I, it's a very hesitant thumbs up, but I would go with Brian Cranston. Robert motherfucking England. Uh, this has actually been trending a little bit on Google. There's a petition. And people are saying that he's the only one that could give the uh, the respect to that role that Donald Pleasance brought, and it's Robert England. I don't want to mix pleasure with business. <laughs> I, I mean, he's fucking Freddy Krueger. I, I don't want to mix it. I'm sorry. I, I I think Robert England is more than Freddy Krueger. I've seen him in other things. The Mangler, he was good. He's done other roles that I appreciated what he brought, but, dude, I don't I don't know, man. I just don't see Robert England. I'm going to bend over and take it right up the butt like you normally do. <laughs> take it right up the tailpipe. I'm going to bend over and open myself up to the hatred and criticism for this because I don't care. I'm going to go thumbs down on, on Robert England. I, and I, the I reason do. I'm doing it, I love Robert England. I fucking love Robert England. The, the, the guy's a good actor. I think he's an underrated actor, honestly. I yeah, think he, really he, he doesn't get actor. enough credit or enough roles. But thing is, I'm with you. I, I don't want to mix that. I don't and, and B, he basically already played this character in um, Behind the Mask, Leslie Vernon. Yeah, I'm going bat shit right here. Bat shit pick of the week. Hot takes. Okay. ESPN.com. Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> it would never fucking happen. But would you be a thumbs up or a thumbs down? When is go home and fuck the prom queen? Uh, Womack, you uh, son of a bitch. I, uh, I gotta go thumbs down with that, man. What? Yeah. You wouldn't take that. Dude, Sean Connery coming out of retirement to play fucking He Lewis. wouldn't do it anyway. Not dead. That's so, that's Just so, very much retired. That's so over, that's so over. He would never do it. Like, he would but, never but do it. But if he did. It's so, it's so unrealistic. I know it can't happen, you fucking. That's like, that's like trying to say, okay, when you play, when you play fucking uh, NBA and you put Michael Jordan and fucking Scottie Pippen on your team with Kobe Bryant, it's never gonna happen. I don't care. I just want to know, would you be happy or not? If it was realistic, if he was still acting, I'd be happy. I'll have a haircut. The fiddle of a suit. But he's never going to do it, so. But you'd give it a thumbs up. I'd give it a thumbs I'd up give it a if thumbs he up were to do it. Never going to happen. Yeah. Vos entrapment. I'll give it a thumbs up still, yeah. He was doing very well last night! <laughs> uh, here's one for you. Really stoke the fire in your bum crack. Okay. Mads Mikkelsen. 
be okay with that. I mean, he wasn't Hannibal, so I mean, he does have the the grounded. He maybe feels a little youngish, but not really. I honestly, I think I, I actually, I, I, I'm almost down with that. I'm almost down with making Loomis a lot younger than he was. Well, you can't because he got not like not like super young, but like in his thirties or somewhere. But like, I mean. I'd be okay with that. I, I think Matt's, I, I'm a thumbs up. I, I'm going to go thumbs up. I think Matt, Matt Mickelson will be an excellent choice for that. Uh, yeah, Vigo Mortensen. Motherfucking naked karate in Eastern Promises. Vigo Mortensen. I fear no death. I think he's, I'm up. I'm he, up for that. I'm up for it, man. I go down, dude. Even though this is my list, I'm still going to go a little downish on it because he's too handsome. No. Like, he's too no, he's fucking... Not. Have you seen The Road? <laughs> it's not, well, he's yeah. not so handsome. But he's too tall. He's, no, it doesn't matter. Like, I think of Mortensen... No, I'm going to go thumbs up. I'm yeah, just yeah, 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 now you can change your it's mind. It's man. Think of Mortensen, yeah. Okay. Hugo Weaving. Dude, that's a thumbs up, too. Yeah, right? Oh, my God. You like this list, don't you? Yes, I do. good fucking list. That's a good list, yeah. Uh, Hugo Weaving, the Red Skull, are you serious? <laughs> the Cosmic Cube, Mr. Smith? <laughs> it, yeah, I mean, Mr. Smith could fucking be Dr. Lewis. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm kidding now. But Hugo Weaving is an amazing actor. Hugo Weaving, uh, just his... If you guys remember V for Vendetta, and the way that he brought that role, like, he brought it such, like, it was, it was like, poetic, and it was, like... It was scary, and then it was action, and he could do all those things and mix it. I think you could take a little piece of beat for Vendetta, Mr. Smith, and put those into a Dr. Loomis and be amazing. I, I would be totally down for Hugo Weaving. Yeah, doing it. I like it, too. Here's, this is, this has never happened. Okay. I don't know, maybe. He's weird. It could happen. Okay. National Treasure. No. Michael Shannon. Uh, I mean, I'm thinking about it. Uh, would, I, mean, I mean, I'm thinking about it. It would never happen. I don't think it would happen, but I would give it a hard thumb up the butt. You think your son is safe for me? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's saying. Like, you think your Michael is safe for me? I don't know, man. I think that I think that he, Michael Shannon, is too crazy to be Doctor Lewis. Like Loomis is kind of crazy too, but really Michael Shannon crazy. is like right. He's like in the next cell with Loomis Michael. is batshit see now, but not like kids not, in the middle hospital. But crazy. Michael Shannon is Michael Myers without being Michael Myers. Like, <laughs> like Kurt Russell. Again, this is from the, this is from the comments on our channel, so I didn't think of this on my own. Kurt Russell. Let me just say, when Jack Burton's driving, <laughs> you take Jack Burton. You tell him. Check the, is in the mail. Check's in the mail. Uh, I'm going thumbs up. On Fucking that hard thumbs up. Thumb that would be perfect, perfect, man. Yeah, that Kurt would be perfect. Kurt Russell's got the action background. He's got he's got the he's got the cool like dad feel to him. He's got the dad vibe, yeah. but like kind of like mentor uh, Michael. But at the same time, you fuck with me, son, I'll get in your face. So, like I mean, he's got that kind of attitude too. Yeah. So yeah, Kurt Russell's a definite yes. He'd be fantastic. Uh, Michael Keaton. I actually, I'm actually, you know what, the entire time you were talking, we had just watched The Founder, and I was like, is he going to throw Keaton on this list? I'm up for fucking Keaton, dude. <laughs> I can get past the fact that he used to be one of the best Batmans of all time, and that he was Mr. Mom. I can get past all that, because Michael Keaton, based on his performance in The Founder and Birdman, and the way that he was able to bring that, like solidarity to that role. Could Michael Keaton do it? Yes. Would yeah. Michael Keaton ever do it? I no. I'm giving it a thumbs up, a thumbs but up I too. don't believe he would ever do it. Uh, Bucking Phoenix. This is a little crazy. Again, not English. I'm going up. You're going up? I'm going up with that, dude. Uh, yes, fucking... Uh, uh, I, you're a I, scoundrel. Because you know what? I, I would go with Joaquin. Joaquin would, would uh, dedicate himself to the fucking role. That yeah. He would go on, like, Jay Leno or Letterman or Conan O'Brien and be Dr. Loom. He's like, <laughs> what do you ask me questions which you want to know the answers? I'm I have to, Even though it sounds batshit crazy and it's weird, you would have to... If you heard that, you'd be like, I have to see that. Dude, I have to see Joaquin, what that would fucking look like, like on screen. I, Joaquin is the hardest working actor in Hollywood, I think. One of the hardest workers because he always dedicates every single thing he does full on to it. Mark Ruffalo. He's weird. I'm thinking quirky, about, I'm thinking broken, about I, I know, but I, I think that he would do, he would be Bruce Banner in the in the role. Like, I think he would just be Bruce Banner. He's too nice, maybe? Yeah. I think maybe I'm, he's gonna, too I'm nice. going thumbs down. Maybe that. too nice. Yeah. Okay, Kiefer Sutherland. I'm a, I'm th no, I am thumbs up. He always seems so young, though. I know. Even though he's old, he but looks I, young. I, I don't know. I, I would go thumbs up. Obviously, I'd okay. rather take his dad, <laughs> but I would go thumbs up. <laughs> John Malkovich, you mentioned this earlier. Right? Uh, right? I, I mean, initially, you would say I, no, I and then as soon as you 
you think I about it, you're like, like yeah. fucking John Malkovich. I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, in my club, I'll splash the pot anytime I fucking want. It's John fucking Malkovich. You can't. It's got alligator blood. Yeah, you can't just not have him in it. Like if he was. Yeah, dude. He bit me fair and square. Like, I remember him in The Man of the Iron Mask, and he was tortured and shit in that movie, too. I, yeah, I'm going with him. Malcolm McDowell. We are. We can't bring him back. Right, I agree. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a thumb, thumb down. down. I had to add it and to you know what? Malcolm McDowell was great in Halloween 1, but when they fucked his character up and he became all egotistical and stuff, yeah. what Rob Zombie did with him, I think he ruined himself forever being Dr. Loomis. Yeah, I'm agreed. sorry. I like... I love... I think Malcolm McDowell, if he had never been Dr. Loomis, I would have immediately been on board with him, but no. I got one that you don't have on your list at all. You don't know that. I got two left. I no, got two left. I bet I do. Save it to the end. Okay, fine. I will. All right. Okay, fine. All right. Fine. Respect the list. I'm not going to respect, respect it. Respect it. I don't respect the face. Respect the cock. What's, what's, what's your... Okay, my two. Okay. Okay. Terrence Stamp. The original Zod. Is he still alive? The, yeah, he is. The original Zod, dude. I'm going to look that up. He looks fucking... And he's badass. I love Terrence Stamp. That is a really good one if he's still alive. He's yeah. still alive, dude. He'll like, take Michael and be like, we'll go to Houston and we will Salt. rule. I go Terrence from the top. Yeah, yeah Terrence. Cool. What's your other one? Donald Sutherland. No, oh, is he alive? Yes, Donald Sutherland's <laughs> alive, dude. Yes, he's yeah, alive. but he might be too old. Dude. No, he's not. Loomis wasn't that old at that point. Well, I, Donald I, Sutherland was know. like falling apart. Yep. Did you see him in Hunger Games? Maybe right. that was just the makeup, but he was like. Da, da, da. <laughs> I was gonna say Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal can play anything. Comment down below. Let us know of all the, of all that list. Who would you most like to see? Did we forget anybody on our list? Comment below. Let us know. Do you think Loomis will even be in the movie? We love your fucking faces. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some fucking way up in you. Tell him, Doctor Loomis. You gotta get that weapon straight up in you, cause it will stop the rays from being in your butthole. <laughs> and maybe you'll get not constipated.